Hello and welcome to another video on control systems. In this video, we will be looking at one more example of linearizing the differential equation. We'll be also seeing how a differential equation can be written in a matrix vector form in this uh, video. So as we have seen linearization in the last video here, we are taking one more example. The uh, example is d square y by dt square plus 2 dy by dt plus y square equal to 0. Here the nonlinear term that we have to linearize is y square. Let us see how we can linearize this nonlinear equation. We are trying to linearize this equation at the point y equal to 1. So the function is y square and the value of that function at the uh, operating point y equal to 1 is f y square equal to 1. So 1 square equal to 1. And the first derivative df by dy uh, at the operating point y equal to 1 is 2y at y equal to 1. So substitute y equal to 1. So 2. The value uh, of the first derivative at the operating point is 2. Now the nonlinear term y square is approximately equal to f y f y naught plus df by dy at y equal to one delta y. So here our we have got the values as y square is approximately equal to one plus two delta y. So this is valid around the point y equal to one. Now substitute it back to this equation to get the linearized differential equation. So the linearized form of the differential equation would be d square y by dt square plus e y by dt plus 1 plus 2 delta y equal to 0. So this is the linearization of the nonlinear differential equation around the operating point y equal to 1. Now we will see another uh, important topic, uh, writing a differential equation in matrix form. The first example that we would like to see is d square y by dt square plus 7 dy by dt plus 2y equal to 5u. The u is the input, y is the output. Now we need to write this differential equation into matrix vector form. So we will take so we will take the first variable. We will take the first variable as y, second variable x2 as the first derivative of the previous variable x1 dot that is equal to y dot because x1 equal to y so x1 dot it will be equal to y dot now y dot is nothing but dy by dt x1 dot is nothing but the first derivative dx1 by dt x1 dot is equal to x2 equal to y dot x2 dot is equal to x1 double dot equal to y double dot now y double dot is nothing but this term. So y double dot can be written as taking this the right side and this also to the right side. So y double dot is equal to minus 7 dy by dt minus y plus 5u. Replacing this in terms of uh, the variables, x1 y double dot is nothing but x2 dot that is equal to minus 7 dy by dt is nothing but dy by dt is nothing but x2 y is nothing but x1 plus 5u so from this equation number one and equation number two we can write we can write this matrix vector form so x1 dot x1 dot is nothing but from the first equation x1 dot is nothing but x2 so 0 into x1, 0 into x1, plus 1 into x2. So that is nothing but x1 dot is equal to, x1 dot is equal to x2, plus 0 into u. Similarly, the second term, x2 dot, from equation number 2, x2 dot is equal to minus 7x2, minus 2x1, plus 5u. So that is how you write this in matrix vector form. So this is the matrix vector form of this differential equation. We will see another example. 
Now we have a slightly larger example. D cube y by dt cube plus seven d square y by dt square plus four dy by dt plus six y equal to seven u. Now here again, we will define each variable. So these are the three variables. X1 is equal to y. X2 is equal to X1 dot. That is nothing but y dot. X3 is equal to X2 dot. That is equal to X1 double dot. That is equal to y double dot. Now we need to write the equation for X3 dot. So X3 dot is nothing but d cube y by dt cube. Take all other terms to the right. So it will be x3 double dot is equal to y double dot that is equal to 7u minus 6y minus 4y dot minus 7y double dot. So this equation from these equations, equation number one, equation number two, and equation number three, we can write the matrix vector form. So the matrix vector form would be so matrix vector form would be x1 dot x2 dot x3 dot is equal to the first matrix is 0 1 0 0 0 1 minus 6 minus 4 minus 7 x1 x2 x3 plus 0 0 7 u so the first row will correspond to the first equation x1 dot will be equal to x2 so only the second term is there x2 dot will be corresponding to the equation number two the third term x2 dot is equal to x3 and the final will be the third equation x3 dot is equal to uh, minus 6y or minus 6x1 minus 4x2 minus 7x3 plus 7u so y is x1 y dot is x2 y double dot is x3 so this is how we write the differential equation in matrix vector form thank you